Give it up for Ken Perlstein. Hey, guys, congratulations to Sarah. Uh, thank you all the performers. You guys have been great. Uh, yes, we are mental. We are very mental, man. Um, I'll tell you what's mental uh, right now is uh, some of the crime uh, that's going on in this city. Right? I don't know. I, I don't know if you all, I have what's called the Citizens app, right? Yeah, I love the, right? right? Come on, I love that Citizens app, right? It's exciting, you know, it's dangerous and exciting. You know, the first, I've had it for a few years, and the first alert I ever got on a Citizens app was man in Central Park walking around with a hand grenade. <laughs> right? Right? That's like, it's like fucking crazy, man. That's like, I ran right the fuck down to see it. <laughs> I want to see what's going to happen, right? It's a weird app because it tells you like every fart, every stabbing, every knifing, whether there's smoke in the apartment, everything. It's exciting. And how far, to, how far away it is from you, right? Like two people fighting, one guy with a bicycle chain. I'm like, that's not fair. <laughs> But hell, man, I'm placing bets, you know? <laughs> so one day I walked out of the subway and I looked and said, man getting robbed, and uh, it was me. <laughs> yeah. You could video, right? It has video too. So I'm like, hey, video selfie, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, let's take a shooting picture. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've been in New York since um, 1994, and that's when I moved from college, right? And, uh, you know, I remember, like, uh, I have, like, sometimes you have smart-ass neighbors, and uh, I remember one of them telling me, he's like, you know, when you go on a trip, notify your local police department that you're going on a trip. You know, I'm like, why? They go, so you can, they can watch over your apartment. I fucking believe this guy, right? <laughs> I believe this guy. So I walked into the 20th precinct, and... Uh, they said, are you here to report a crime? And I said, no, my name is Ken Pearlstein. And I wanted to inform you <laughs> that I'm going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> so they held me for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. All right? It's like, afraid if they watched over my apartment, I'd come back. They're like, ah, oh, nothing happened, but they're wearing my fucking clothes, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, that's, uh, that was some tough shit. Um, I, uh, I'm also uh, an addict in recovery, 26 years. So <laughs> right. Come on, don't need to clap. I'm not collecting a chip today, you know? I'm not sitting there making shitty coffee and going, welcome to the meeting. <laughs> I'm going to list all my resentments. Uh, I actually, I knew I had a problem. I, I used to sell knives, right? Yeah, cut call, right? Cut call, yeah. You, yeah, cut that rope, right? <laughs> it gets right through the rope. Yeah, you, you, you have to, like, get ten people and demonstrate this shit to them. Like, he is the one has three rivets and it cuts through a rope. <laughs> and uh, I was doing this shit in college in Huntington, West Virginia. It's like Appalachia shit, right? So... Half the people I ran into pulled out a machete, you know? <laughs> Does yours cut through a dead hooker? <laughs> no, it just cuts the rope. <laughs> see, 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 I was the type of alcoholic that, you know, one day I was, I was uh, pulled over, you know, coming from a knife convention. Ooh, <laughs> that looks lady. <exciting>. Uh, <laughs> And I figured I'm going to get out of this, right? This is the way my alcoholic thinking was. I'm going to sell the state trooper a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm salesman of the year, right? I'm thinking Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross at the time, right? And my coffee's for fucking closers, man. Right? Take no prisoners. So uh, after he told me to stay in the car, I got out of the car. <laughs> With my knives. Yes, sir. <laughs> Like you, sir, Mr. Appalachian Sheriff, right? Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane, right? Like you, sir, could use a fisherman's solution knife. <laughs> and I actually, I was doing really well until the second taser. You know? 
<laughs> yeah, right? Alcoholism, dude. I don't I still to this day I can't look at I can't stand what people like leave alcohol in their glass. That's when you know you have a problem. You're like, what the fuck? Where are you going? Oh, it's fine, I'm done with this. No, you're not. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, man? It's still like a quarter full, man. Still a little backwash left, but there's alcohol in the backwash, asshole. Right? Seriously, man. Serious. Yeah, I don't mess around, you know. Um, I do have a kid, you know. I went all that way. I have a kid. He's 10 years old. Thank you, right? He is the result of uh, online dating, you know. <laughs> Right? Yeah, I was in my 40s after my first marriage went so well. <laughs> we go online. <laughs> so I met my current. I like to call it my current because there's no other way to say it. My current. <laughs> I, uh, I met her on a site called lastresort.com. <laughs> right? Hey, you got red flags, so do I. <laughs> what have we got to lose? <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, but you know, she broke up with me like a month after she was pregnant, so that was a lot of fun, you know. It's like holy shit, and my kid doesn't appreciate it. It's like ten, so he's a smart ass. He's like, you <laughs> shut up, dad. <laughs> you never wanted me, Aww. right? Oh, right. I'm like, that's not true, man. We just weren't trying. <laughs> Because there's no, because now they, these days they have timeouts, man. If you're a Gen X like me, grew up in the 70s, there were no timeouts, right? Right? I'm the oldest person here, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> you assholes got off light? <laughs> there was no time. Today we have timeouts, right? Today, you know, it's like, but back then, my dad's timeout was, I'm going to count to one, two. <laughs> And I was out. <laughs> yeah, I don't, but, you know, honestly, man, I grew up in a home of domestic violence, which was, woo, that was a lot of fun. Lots of memories on the corner of my mind. Uh, I don't want to do that to my kid, you know, I really don't. Uh, I, I don't, I don't ever want to, you know, I don't hit him, I don't, I don't touch him, I don't want somebody recording it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Right? No, serious. Uh, Citizens app. Someone says, hey, there you go. Thank you, right? I just kind of look down at him and I go, don't make daddy drink again. <laughs> right? 26 years, kid. You want to fucking blow it? <laughs> so mom's got to change the locks on the door and shit. It's a lot of fun, man. It is. Now I make him do whenever he's, you know, he's got a problem. I'm like, we're going to do a personal inventory. <laughs> right? Take out a piece of paper because now you're 10. You know how to fucking write. Okay? <laughs> Divide it up into four columns. You know, everybody you hate and your resentments and all that shit and what they did to you, the second column, and then how it made you feel, right? Like we care. Uh, and then the fourth was, what is your part in it, Jacob? What was my part? That's in the fourth column. Right. Okay, that got dark really quick, right? <laughs> wrong with you guys? Wrap it up, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's hard, man. Um, so I'll wrap this up here. You know, he, um, he, goes, to a, uh, he goes to school. Um, and by the way, yeah, of course the marriage worked out, you know? Everything worked out because she's got great insurance. Uh, <laughs> Being an actor is tough. You know, I go to his school. His school's really progressive, by the way. They, every email they send starts out with, Dear parents, we hope this doesn't come off as racist, <laughs> homophobic, <laughs> Islamophobic, but due to bad weather, <laughs> school will be canceled tomorrow. <laughs> Last thing, man, you know, because uh, I'm also an actor, it's tough to compete with these young dads at his school. Because they're all professional people, man. One guy works for NASA, building his own planet, you know. <laughs> you got hedge fund people, a fucking doctor who, like, separates babies. He, make, he makes one baby and a two, you know. <laughs> it's 
That's important shit. They asked me what I do, and I just started crying, you know. <laughs> I had auditioned for a Coffee Mate commercial that day, right? You know, Coffee Mate the powder, right? Coffee Mate, right? <laughs> right? They didn't have a script. They had no script. They're like, You're gonna, we're going to be edgy here. You do whatever you want with it. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything, so they called action. I went, so when I snorted it, <laughs> <laughs> I realized it was hazelnut Coffee Mate. <laughs> Hazelnut coffee, mate, doesn't go well up your nose, but it goes great in your coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee, mate. <laughs> Last thing I'll say, man, is, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, my wife always has questions. And if I ever get a, well, am I ever going to get a part with, like, with a, a love part, right? Like a part where I'm actually, you know, simulating sex with somebody. <laughs> if you look at me, I'm not really that leading man type. I look like a racist cop. Yeah. Right? You're right, I have that cop look, right? That racially profile you cop look, you know? You know what my part is? My part is like, hey, Miss Hernandez, we know where your husband is. Turn him in, or we'll turn you over to ICE. That's my part, that's my part. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't write it, that's my fucking part. Don't blame me. Never gonna happen. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I feel great now. Thank you. Mental health, I'm fucked in the head. Well, guys, you've been real. This has been fantastic. Thanks so much. Man.